Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm back to do another plan with me and I'm pretty excited. My plan is to finally do my get to know me tag question plan with me because the last time I tried to do that I got really distracted and didn't even answer really any questions. So before I get started, I want to show you all the things I'm planning on using. I think I'm going for a pink and a yellow vibe today. So I pulled these washies. These are all really old. They're all from Michaels. I believe these two are both from Recollections. I don't remember what brand this is from. And then this one is Simply Gilded. It's a really skinny neon collection washi. And then these are the other ones. I might not use all of them, but they look cute together. And I also pulled a pink and a yellow paper mate flare pen to help write with it. And that is, I know I said I don't use the paper mate flares anymore. I have not had an issue with the colors. I've only had an issue with the black paper mate flares. So I do still use the colored ones and I like them a lot. I'm planning Friday the 10th, which is today. It is a little bit late, but I haven't had a chance to plan yet because I had a couple things I had to get done. So I figured I have the time. This is from an old Happy Planner book. I really want to use the sticker off of it. <laughs> and so those are all the items I'm going to be using. And let me just take you through it. It is downpouring outside right now. So if you hear rain, sorry, but it's totally a vibe. I love rainy weather when I don't have to really do much. And that's the kind of day today is. I'm off from work, hanging around, and I'm just like looking out on my balcony right now and it's just I love it so I'm gonna mostly focus on the questions I haven't pulled up on my iPad right here and I'm gonna mostly focus on that so I'm not gonna really explain much of what I'm doing but you can kind of just watch and I'll try and focus mostly on answering the questions I'm a little ADD so we'll see how we'll see how this goes <laughs> so let's get started I always start with blacking this out whenever I'm using a really light wash washi like this so we'll start here I ran out of my Tombow whiteout so this is the big whiteout easy correct and so far I really like it. it goes on really easy and smooth I think I like it a little bit more than Tombow one so let's start with that and let's get into the question it's a little hard to get it started though like I feel like I don't really know how to use this Okay. The first question on this list is, where did you grow up? I am a Jersey girl, born and raised in New Jersey, in South Jersey to be specific. And just so you know, Central Jersey does not exist. It's either North or South. There's no in between. <laughs> that is a topic of debate in New Jersey is if Central Jersey exists. And I say, no, it does not. Not in my world. Maybe I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. So yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Born and raised there. No complaints. It's a good state. Uh, and I had a really cool childhood growing up in Jersey. And yeah, I really like it. I probably will end up living in Jersey eventually again. I'm not there now, but I probably will be. I don't really need the cutter with this. It's a pretty thin washi. That's really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the date cover I'm gonna use, which is Saturday, Friday, I'm sorry, Friday the 10th. And so yeah, that's that one where I currently live. So I'm currently living in Philadelphia, really not very far from my hometown. And I like it a lot. I actually love it, I really do. And I, it's put me closer to work, to work in Philly, so. To live in Philly, I mean, so I'm pretty happy with that. I really like living in the city. I really like going out. I really like having so many options of food <laughs> that I didn't have in my hometown. I don't really have any complaints about living in Philly either, but when I think of like raising a family, you know, in the future, I don't really think of doing that in Philly. I think of Jersey when I think of that. So that's why I think eventually I will probably move back to Jersey, but not yet, not there yet. <laughs> I kind of like how this little layered effect looks, honestly, I'm not gonna mess with that. And I forgot I have this notebook in the back of my planner that I got in my Simply Gilded box. It's bulking it up a little bit, so I'll just take that out really fast and keep on chucking. I wanna do the pink at the bottom, I know that much. The next question is, 
How tall are you? I think I answered this one already in my last little attempt at a get to know me tag. I am 5'11". Let me zoom you guys out. Yeah, so I'm 5'11", very tall lady here. And I, yes, I like being tall. I, I get that a lot. The next question is dog or cats? This is pretty funny because if you've known me a while, I was never really a dog person. I've always, always, always loved cats. But now recently, so my boyfriend and I will be together a year and a couple of months here. So he has two dogs in his house and they are the first dogs that made me like dogs. Like I've always thought dogs, I can't get my card up. I've always thought dogs were cute, but I did not have good experience with them and I'm really not a big fan of big dogs at all. He has two small dogs and they're adorable and now I like dogs and now I want one. But I don't like big dogs at all. I like small animals. So cats are really small and cute. Dogs that are small, I, I will love to be around a dog that's small. Dog that's big, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is funniest moment throughout high school that's a little tough that's a little bit of a I gotta think about that one funniest moment in high school hmm okay so one funny thing from high school that I vividly remember is I was in I don't want that down here I think I want it down here I was in NHS National Honor Society in high school and they basically have like a little hazing process at my high school where the day you found out the, the day you found out you were inducted you had to um basically you would you would get this crown on your head you had to wear all day so that was already embarrassing because you're wearing like a paper burger king style crown and then on top of that whenever a senior more senior member so someone that already been inducted the year before you saw you they could tell you to do it and do it meant you had to chant NHS, we are the best while marching wherever you were at. And it was so annoying. <laughs> and I'm very shy. If you know me personally, you know I'm super duper shy. I am a super introvert and that was just like, <laughs> that was tough for me. I really struggle with that. I will be honest with you guys. I'm gonna cut and make a little page flag out of this. I really struggled with that day just because I just I was just you know I'm just awkward I'm naturally a really awkward person it just it was a lot but I made it through and then the following year I got to do the same thing to the new people <laughs> and that was fun so one of my subscribers messaged me that the easier way to make page flags is to just like cut them like that or no opposite cut them like this you fold it in half and you just like trim it. I hope this is showing right. If not, I'll just probably cut it out. Yes, like that. And you have like an easier way to do it than how I did it the first time, which was like ridiculously hard. Cute. Okay. So the next one, so that's my funniest moment. It was pretty funny. Now I can laugh about it. At the time I was like mortified. <laughs> I do want to use the sticker, I mentioned that earlier. This is from Happy Planner. And can this fit on a box? Could I fit this on a Chris Hand Designs box? I think I could, but I think I just want to do it by itself. It makes it be great. I think it's cute. I can be really productive today if I choose to, but we'll see if I do. So I kind of want to remind myself that I should. <laughs> For this, I'm kind of overusing the to-do because I kind of, you know, obviously I know these are my to-dos, so I think I'm just going to leave it with the flag. I don't really feel the need to add a to-do sticker today. You know, it's cute if I want to do it, but today I don't really need it. I'm going to be using this Chrissy and Designs book again, but they have a really good section of just yellow that matches perfectly. Like, I can't, I can't complain about that. So I'm going to use the day, should I use the day off sticker? Eh, should I? Nah, I don't need it. Okay, so this is kind of like the base for now. We're gonna get into planning out individual time slots, like waking up and stuff like that. I woke up pretty late today, but I'm still gonna put it in. So the next question is, 
what year are you born? That's a little weird, but I'm 25 years old. The next one is, are you in slash have you gone to college? So that's an exciting one to talk about. I can't get this straight. Or do I wanna use pink? I think I wanna use pink. All that just to change the marker color. Sorry guys. All right. So the answer to that one about college, yes, I was in college. I have gone to college. I have graduated from college, thank goodness. And at 25 now, I definitely miss certain aspects of it, but I would not, I'm happy I'm done at the same time. College was not easy for me. I'm one of those kids that did really, really, really good in high school. And then college kind of kicked my butt. It was really hard. I and not that I struggled, I, I did struggle a little bit. And then I just had to completely change how I did things. College was, high school was easy for me and college definitely wasn't. So I went to UConn, University of Connecticut. Loved it, great experience. If you have any questions about UConn or you're thinking about UConn, definitely reach out to me. I love the school. I know with COVID, the whole college process right now is really weird. And I really feel for anyone that's either in college right now or going into college this year in 2020, that is just, I can't even imagine being in your predicament. My four years of college were amazing. Like my freshman year, if I had to have been digital, I don't even know what I would have done. So I really do feel for you all. But yeah, so in college, I was a physiology and neurobiology major. I love, love, love science. And right now what I do uh, for work is pretty much directly related to that. I work with vaccines and making vaccines and I spend most of my time in the lab and I pretty much couldn't be happier in terms of that. I'm really, really happy with you know my career and everything like that so i'm thankful for that the next one is what's your favorite drink and this could go two ways because are you talking about drinky drinks are you talking about like regular drinks regular drinks probably coffee i drink pretty much coffee water and wine depending on the time of the day <laughs> that is horrible but it's the truth so i took that coffee sticker from the christian designs book i'm gonna take this friday because that's exactly what this is and why do I want to put it up here? Down there? I really want to use it. Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. I don't know where I want to put it. I could, nah. Okay. I'll put it right here. That's cute. So then I want to put in that I'm going to be filming around now. So my favorite drink. Yeah, coffee. Love a good coffee. I love a latte. I just love caffeine. That's probably my favorite drink. For my favorite drinky drink, like alcoholic beverage, I love wine, but if I had to choose an absolute favorite, it'll be a margarita, frozen preferably. I I can I can drink a margarita. I love tequila. And yeah, those would be my favorite drinks. What's my spirit animal and why? Would it be a cop out to say that my spirit animal is a lion because I'm a Leo? Is that too easy? Does it work like that? I don't know. Hope not. That's that's my answer, but I feel like lions are strong and powerful and leaders and they just they do what they want to do, but like they're calculated. Like they're not a dumb animal. They're smart and they're they're gonna do what they wanna do and like be smart with it, if that makes sense. And that's how I feel <laughs> about myself. I don't know if that's weird to say. Get to know me. Plan with me. So I'm not gonna be using my Elaine Michelle Studio film edit upload stickers on this because I'm filming this today, but I'm not necessarily gonna be editing uploading this today because I do have a ton of stuff to do. Like, it's honestly insane. So that's what I need for there. I'm gonna be blacking out my breakfast, lunch, and dinner now. I'm wearing perfume, what scent is it? This is a funny question because as of like, Three weeks ago, I was not into perfume at all. It was just like not on my radar, things I even cared to look into. But let me tell you about my experience buying my new bag. I just recently 
made the jump and purchased my dream bag, which is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I love it. I think I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag video pretty soon. And I'll show you guys that and you know, all the things I carry with me as a planner girl, because if you're a planner girl, you know, our bags are something serious with what we have to carry in it to plan and stuff. So anyways, I went to the Louis Vuitton store and you know, I knew I was gonna buy this bag, but you know, they was, you know, they want to try and sell other things to you and let you know more about the, the company and the products they have. So the part of that was, giving me samples of a bunch of different perfumes and I smelled one and it was called Fleur, Fleur d'Or, Fleur d'Or, something like that. I'm, you can't speak French, but something like that. And it smelled bomb, but it was like $265 a bottle. So that's like insane. I probably won't be able to afford that anytime soon, but when I can, I was gonna use this box for my spending, but I don't think I wanna do that. I don't think I wanna layer the yellow on top of the yellow, but the pink, I feel like it might be a little bit too pink. Let me see if I can find one of my reusable sticker book. I use this so much, you guys. You don't even know. Do I have anything that would look cute with this? It's not a big deal if I can't mark it, but I would like to. This is too big, but this is the color I need. All the book. That's a little bit too big for the spread. This one might work. Yeah, that works. So yeah. Um, when I can afford to spend almost, you know, when I can afford to spend $265 on a perfume, it will be that one, and that will be what I wear, but until then, I don't really wear perfume, and yeah. But if you have a perfume you like, that, sound, that smells like, you know, that you've been wearing for a while and you're a big fan of, let me know. If it's not, like, super expensive. I'm not opposed to wearing a perfume, I'm just, I've never really been into it so far in life but I do think there's something like very like mature about wearing a, a nice perfume so I'm gonna write in spending here so next one is tea or coffee the name of my channel is coffee and plan I hope you guys know the answer to that one what sports do you play or have you played I've literally only played one sport ever it was soccer did not like it I'm not a sporty girl at all <laughs> like at all and I'm okay with that. So I'm not working today, y'all. I'm gonna mark off down here because that's when my boyfriend's gonna be coming over, which is really exciting. And I'm gonna use the yellow for that. I'm gonna put it around like the mark for six o'clock. So my life goals, that's the question, right? Yeah, it's, it's so hard to stay focused on this when I'm planning. I just wanna go so many different places. My mind is like wandering. Ah, uh, this I kind of fresh up, yeah, guys. This is like not good looking. And that's why we have white out. This is why we have white out. So my life goals. I want to advance my career. That's pretty important to me. My career is pretty important to me. I really love science and I really want to stay involved in science as time goes on. That's pretty important to me. So career is important to me. Family is really important to me. One day I would love to be a mom. Uh, I'm one of those people that's like dreamed about being a mom since they were a kid. <laughs> that's really close. I don't think I like that being so close. I can put it over here. Yep, that's better. <laughs> This is a mess. You see what happens when I'm not focused on the planning? A mess. The spread is now about 50% correction tape. Sorry about it. <laughs> I do want to set a reminder. I have this reminder script. This is also from a Happy Planner book. I think I only need two for this. So I'm gonna just pop this. Should I pop it right here? Is that gonna look cute? I think so. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I looked at this one from far away and I hated it. It doesn't match with the spread at all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rip that up. And I'm gonna put in place of it 
a meal type of sticker if I can find one. Anything will look better. The neon was just way too neon for the yellow and the spread. So I'm gonna go back to my old faithful, go look into my icons I have available, see what I can find. Anything that matches. This one looks pretty good. So the question I left off at was what's your favorite movie? Right now it's not really a movie, but I guess technically it is. <laughs> is the Hamilton play on Disney Plus. That's right now my favorite movie. If you have not watched it, it's so worth it. Like if you get Disney Plus for, I'm the kind of person I haven't, I literally had not used Disney Plus since I got it, but I've been using it nonstop now because Hamilton's just so good, you know? It's just so good. I love it so, so much. Yeah, that's cute enough for me. And so the, what are your favorite YouTubers? This is a fun question. Before I answer, I want you guys to tell me what are your favorite YouTubers so that I can go subscribe to them because who doesn't like getting new people to follow? Love that. Always looking for new people on YouTube. So my favorites right now, I really like Scribble Pens Crow YouTube. I really like Bethany Chan's YouTube. I've been watching her videos. She does daily planning and plan with me too. So go check her out. I really like, who else? My OGs, I really like Simply Gianna. I'm gonna try and remember to tag all of these. Simply Gianna, she is like a vlogger and she used to be a planner girl, but she's really focused on weight loss right now. And she's like a nanny. She's really fun to watch. Who else? This is gonna take up like the rest of the video is me trying to figure out <laughs> my favorite YouTubers. Sorry about it. Oh, I forgot to mark payday. That's really important, of course. I have these little glam planner poke and dot stickers. Let me see if I can find a good flag. So I can mark that in here. Super cute. I've been using these to mark paydays for a really long time. And then this, I'm all over the place with this guy, sorry. But this is for the date night. These stickers are, don't look like my boyfriend and I, but I'm gonna use them. But I really like Elle Fowler. She's like an OG. Now she's a planner girl, but I've been watching her for years. I'm gonna get an arrow down here. Um, I really like to watch Favorite Daughter Emily. She's a planner girl and I just love her vlogs. I'm looking at my YouTube now so I can give you guys accurate answers. I really like Heidi Summers. She's all about fitness. She's one of the fittest people I've ever seen. And she's just like a, a ray of sunshine. Her videos are really, really inspiring. And she's just like a total girl boss. And I love it. Love to watch her journey. Book Michio, she's a vlogger. Her, uh, her videos are good. Lots of vlogs. She's moving to New York City. And if you're interested in vlogs and stuff like that, She's really good for stuff like that. Kathleen Muller, she's a dental student. I like watching her. I just really like vlogs. So if you watch a lot of vlogs or planner girls and you have some good recommendations or if you have your own channel, let me know in the comments. I'd love to check you out. I honestly am one of those people that mostly just watches YouTube videos, much to my boyfriend's dismay. <laughs> That's the content I like to consume. It just feels more personal, I guess. I want to write down what I'm going to be cooking tonight. I'm using this book again, the Christian Designs book. This sticker is going to go down here. Yeah. I gotta use my tweezers, they just make life so much easier. So washing the hair is a really important one. I'm just all over the place. Um, grocery shop and the last question because I'm pretty much wrapping this up I love how guys if I was not doing this question get to know me tag do you realize how fast this would have been done like if you've been watching my videos from when I first started planning in this it would took me a long time to get this done but I really do have a system and I kind of just can bang it out now which is awesome and the last question I'll answer is do you speak any languages and how well I took French for like six years, but the one and only language I can say I know through and through is English. And maybe one day I'll work on that, add it to my list of things to do, is to learn a new language. I would love to, I think it's so cool. If you can speak multiple languages, 
all my respect goes out to you because that just my mind can't even comprehend being able to just know different words that mean the same thing like offhand like when people can just swap languages like really really fast that's just how how do you guys do it where do i start do i do a set of stone or something i don't know hope it was entertaining at the very least i hope you learned some new things about me i can there's about another 25 questions on this list that i wasn't able to finish didn't get through because i'm just like such a ninja with the planning now <laughs> but yeah so i hope you know a little bit more about me I'd love to learn a little bit more about you in the comments if you want to leave me a fun fact about you. And definitely if you have a channel, let me know so I can subscribe and add you to my list of favorite YouTubers. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I have a list of videos that I would love to put out really soon and more than just playing with me's, which I love watching playing with me's. It seems like you guys really like watching my playing with me's, but I do have some other content coming, which is really exciting. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And yeah. Oh, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where, since I'm not doing playing with me's every day, unfortunately, I do post my spreads every single day on Instagram. So if you like seeing daily duo spreads and you want some inspiration for how to, you know, liven yours up a little bit, make sure you follow me over there. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really good day. Have a really great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye guys.